Kenny Chesney with a little, little bit of that big 95.7 WKML, Carolina's best in most country. Getting ready for the Big Heart Bash tonight, presented by Lumberton Ford Lincoln, and now in my studio with me, welcome Josh Grayson. What's going on? How you doing, my man? I'm well, thank you. Good to have you here. Good to Look, be here. Looking forward to the show, the tonight, the show to thank our partners in Hope that helped us raise $170,000. Oh, that's awesome. So, That's awesome. Thank you for coming and doing this tonight. Thanks for having me. Everybody's all excited. Of course, most people remember you from the second season of American Idol. You know, the, I, I was thinking about this earlier. The second season, the thing wasn't ingrained in America like it is now. How, what made you think or decide to go try out for American Idol? Uh, my wife, actually. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, she told me that I should try it out and see, see what happens. And I kind of blew it off because I said there's no way that I can possibly do that while in the Marine Corps. And uh, it just happened to work out that there was an audition uh, spot in Pasadena, which is only about an hour and a half away from base. And uh, I went up there, and the rest was history. It, uh, it was definitely a great experience. Wow, that's a that's a great story. Um, what is the what is the experience when you go to the audition? Is it wait 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 like the whole day, and then you finally get through to see somebody before you go on to see? at that time Simon and Paul and everybody? Right, I don't know you know how it's done now. I know that uh, we waited quite a long time uh, when I was in Pasadena uh, during my season uh, to even get, get seen by, by the guys that sent you on to Hollywood or not. Uh, so it was definitely a, a, a long, a bunch of a hurry up and wait, which, you know, I was in the Marine Corps, so I'm used to that. You're used to that already. Absolutely. Josh Grayson in studio with us. What, what was the Marine Corps' take on it after you got selected to go to Hollywood and you had to figure out all those logistics? Uh, well, the battalion uh, was a little iffy about it. They gave a lot of resistance, but um, as soon as headquarters Marine Corps found out about it, and uh, they knew what it would do for them as far as recruiting and and and, and uh, the light, the positive light that it was shed on the on the Marine Corps, they they definitely wanted me involved and, and uh, worked it out. Good. Did, now, is that something you still kind of do whenever you can with the Marine Corps? Try to help them out with. Uh, that I do, kind of thing. I do, but uh, the Marine Corps is, uh, you know, they 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 said it when I was in boot camp. Um, you know, they don't talk too much about, um, you know, the, the 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 celebrities that have been, in, you know, gone through the Marine Corps because mm -hmm. they want uh, they want men and women to join strictly off of them wanting to become a Marine and not the glamour and the glitz of it. And uh, so they keep a pretty low profile when it comes to doing stuff like that. I I understand that very much. Josh Grayson in studio with us. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about you growing up in Michigan, that kind of thing. But you want to do a song for us? Yeah, we can do a song. Let's do, uh, let's do Lie to Me. It's something we haven't done on radio. Okay. Uh, the song is called Lie to Me. It's brand new off the off the record. Uh, not a lot of people have heard it yet, but it's uh, my favorite off the, off the new album. All right, let's hear it. You lay down by my side And I can hear you I know you're gonna wait until I fall asleep so I don't have to see to see you walk away and beg you to stay. Well, baby, just lie to me. Let's make this easy If my heart thinks that you're coming home And you're not going to leave So loud and deep My heart believes Coming home, and you're not gonna 
become a man A white lie saves a heart attack Josh Grayson on the big 957 Thank you. All right, I have to say this though, for a happily married man with three girls, that song and over me, kind of sad songs about leaving <laughs> for a guy who's very happily married and, and, and having you know kind of a good life. Uh, well, you know, uh, a lot of the album is, is written off stuff that uh, I've, I've done personally. That's a great thing about about writing um, and, and, and having a label that that has let me write uh, all the stuff on the album but it's also brought up a lot of uh, a lot of stuff you know you kind of push aside and <laughs> I'm married to my high school sweetheart absolutely but we had a lot of those moments um, and uh, had I wrote them when I was 17 there'd be a lot more swear words and bad things in them but um, <laughs> that'd make it harder for us to play them <laughs> <laughs> exactly so I'm, 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 I'm fortunate that I, I didn't really uh, start writing and, and, and really get into writing until uh, till about about a year ago about a couple years ago and uh, it's really you know taken off for me since then and uh, I pull from a lot of different places. What is it about writing that you really enjoy now? That, you, that that really makes you want to do that? Just creating something, and 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 knowing that you're creating a piece of you, and and even if you don't, even if I don't recognize um, the situation that you know that I'm that I'm writing about at first, I know that it happened somewhere along the way, um, whether it happened to me or whether I I seen it go on around me. So it's really neat to kind of see what happens when I I think of a melody or think of something and start writing about it. Josh Grayson in studio with us, uh, getting ready for the Big Heart Bash tonight at Robinson Community College. When will the album be out? I know that what I've got is a sample of five or six songs. When will the whole thing be ready? Uh, well, we're hoping that it's ready. It's already um, been uh, recorded and, and completed. Uh, there's 16 songs on it. And the, oh, wow. The name of the album is called Redemption. Okay. Um, but it looks like they're going to be uh, releasing it in early fall sometime. Okay. Um, singles getting ready to right around the corner. They're going to be dropping the single before Memorial Day. So. Okay. I'm really excited about it. Oh, great, great. All right, we'll look for that. Um, I read something interesting. Tell me if this is true, that you started uh, liking country music when your radio station at home switched formats when you were 11 years old. Absolutely. Yeah, really? It, it did. It was uh, 99.5. The Fox was playing uh, top 40 stuff, mainstream. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of a sudden, I clicked on it one day, and, and uh, it was playing this song. Uh, Friends in Little Places, and I had no idea what the song, never even heard of it. Uh, that was the first country station that was in the main, you know, main grouping of channels that people listened to, and uh, it played it, uh, it played it the entire week, 24 hours straight. It was the only <laughs> song it played. Uh, so it, it intrigued people a little bit to find out who this guy was, and you know, um, it just, as far as country music, it, it, it really took off for me right there. So it's Friends in Little Places, you didn't hear it and go, what is this? You went, I like that. No, actually, at first I was like, I don't like that, and I turned it, <laughs> and I turned it off. And, and uh, um, driving in the car, you know, it kept coming up, and it was the same song, same song. And then finally, uh, I wasn't in arm's reach of the radio, uh, uh, radio knob when so I was you were driving. Stuck at that so I was kind of stuck, and my mom had left it on there, and it kind of, after listening to the whole song, uh, it was, it was, it was, uh, kind of opened the door for me into country music. Josh Grayson uh, in studio with us now. Were you already playing music then? Because I know what you hit the. You were played at the Opry mm -hmm. when you were 16 years old. So were you already playing music as well when you were 11, or was that come right after? Did that come after that? Uh, I was singing, um, but it was all different kinds of music. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I learned how to sing off of uh, Marvin Gaye and Al Green and Brian McKnight and guys like that. Um, mm -hmm. Being from Detroit. Yeah.